Hey everyone, Ryan Shaw here. First off, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel because this is kind of dedicated to small little videos like this and just short tips and specific product reviews that'll be helpful for people, but usually the videos don't do very well. So if you're subscribed, it just helps the channel do better in general. But let's get into this front trunk bug on the Model Y. Now this was an issue I had and they fixed it once. They replaced the sensor. It didn't actually fix the issue. It popped right up the next day. And then they were able to fix it on the second appointment. Now about three times a week people reach out to me on Twitter asking about this on their Model Y different people every time so this is a pretty widespread issue that I'm noticing on the Model Y I don't know what percentage of them but it is pretty widespread so here is the part number that actually fixed it I've sent this to a bunch of people and they've been able to get it actually fixed at the service center it seems like all service centers think it's the sensor at first it's they fix it and then it doesn't end up fixing the issue so here's a screenshot that you can show them of the actual breakdown of what the service center did that fixed it on mine you can see right here it just says door handles and latches customer states the front trunk is still showing is opened so what they ended up doing the part was reworked ASY front controller gen 3 and there's the part number right there that you can see and I'll attach a link below in the description of an actual screenshot of this so you can take that and show it to your service center I don't entirely know what any of this means to be honest but it was the front computer I think that they had to rework as opposed to the sensor it was reading a faulty sensor even though the sensor wasn't faulty so when they replaced your sensor on your first appointment most likely or tried that at first it doesn't actually fix anything because the thing reading that sensor is what's messed up so that's it hopefully that should fix it and hopefully you get to see this video before the service center tries to fix it the wrong way first and then you have to go back for a second appointment which is always frustrating again make sure you subscribe to this channel for lots more little tips like this and make sure to like this video if you appreciated it you can also follow me on instagram and twitter at ryan Shaw tech which is where most people have been reaching out to me about this specific issue and then if you're not already you can follow my main channel ryan Shaw, for lots more videos about tesla and the model y in general thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one.